Hello, welcome to part 3 of our four-part lesson called Anong Ginagawa Mo? Or what are you doing here on Talk To Me in Tagalog? If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so you will get notified every time I upload a new lesson. Since you're already watching part 3, I'm assuming that you are already familiar with the question and answer patterns that we studied in parts 1 and 2. In case you don't remember, let's review the proper way of asking what someone is doing. The answers this time will be about household chores. Question 1. Anong ginagawa mo? What are you doing? Answer 1. Naglilinis ako ng bahay. Naglilinis means cleaning, and bahay is house. Naglilinis ako ng bahay. I'm cleaning the house. Question 2. Anong ginagawa niya? Anong ginagawa niya? What is he or she doing? Answer 2. Naglilinis siya ng bahay. Naglilinis siya ng bahay. He or she is cleaning the house. Question 3. Anong ginagawa ni Cyril? Anong ginagawa ni Cyril? What is Cyril doing? Answer 3. Naglilinis siya ng bahay. Naglilinis siya ng bahay. You may also say, Naglilinis ng bahay si Cyril. Naglilinis ng bahay si Cyril. These two statements uh, mean Cyril is cleaning the house. Now, let's learn the different activities that you do inside the house so you could give the correct answer to Anong ginagawa mo? Naglalampaso ako ng sahig. Naglalampaso means mopping and sahig is floor. Naglalampaso ako ng sahig. Naglalampaso ako ng sahig. I'm mopping the floor. Anong ginagawa mo? Nagdidilig ako ng halaman. The word dilig is used for plants or trees. It means to water, water the plants. Nagdidilig ako ng halaman. I'm watering the plants. Naglalaba ako. Naglalaba ako. Anong ginagawa mo? Naglalaba ako. I'm doing the laundry. Nagsasampay ako. Nagsasampay ako. I'm hanging the clothes up to dry. Nagsasampay ako. Nagsasaing ako. Nagsasaing ako. Meaning, I'm cooking rice. Nagsasaing ako. Anong ginagawa mo? Nagluluto ako. Nagluluto ako. Meaning, I'm cooking. Naghuhugas ako ng plato. Naghuhugas means washing and plato is a plate. Naghuhugas ako ng plato. I'm doing the dishes. Anong ginagawa mo? Namamalansya ako. Namamalansya ako. Namamalansya means ironing or pressing the clothes. Namamalansya ako. I'm ironing or pressing the clothes. Nagtutupi ako ng mga damit. Nagtutupi ako ng mga damit. Nagtutupi means folding. Nagtutupi ako ng mga damit. I'm folding the clothes. Nagliligpit ako ng higaan. Nagliligpit ako ng higaan. Meaning, I'm making the bed. Anong ginagawa mo? Nagpapalit ako ng punda ng unan. Nagpapalit means changing. Punda is pillowcase and unan is pillow. Nagpapalit ako ng punda ng unan. I'm changing the pillowcase. Nagwawalis ako. Nagwawalis ako. Meaning, I'm sweeping the floor. Nagwawalis ako. Nagpupunas ako ng mesa. Nagpupunas means a wiping or dusting off a surface. Nagpupunas ako ng mesa. I'm wiping or dusting the table off. You may replace the underlined word mesa, which means table, with any other furniture. Nagkukuskos ako ng lababo. Nagkukuskos means scrubbing and lababo is sink. Nagkukuskos ako ng lababo. I'm scrubbing the sink. Anong ginagawa mo? 
Nagtatapon ako ng basura. Nagtatapon is throwing and basura means trash. Nagtatapon ako ng basura. I'm throwing out the trash. If you happen to visit a province in the Philippines where there's no access to tap water, you will most likely find someone fetching water from a well. If you find yourself doing it, you should say, Nag-iigib ako ng tubig. Nag-iigib ako ng tubig. Tubig means water. Nag-iigib ako ng tubig. I'm fetching water. Anong ginagawa mo? Naglilinis ako ng sasakyan. Naglilinis means cleaning and sasakyan is car or vehicle. Naglilinis ako ng sasakyan. I'm cleaning or washing the car. Anong ginagawa mo? Namimili ako. Namimili ako. The word namimili is generally used for shopping or buying things from big stores. But if you're just buying some groceries, you may say, Naggrocery ako. Naggrocery ako. I'm grocery shopping. Naghihiwa ako ng gulay. Naghihiwa ako ng gulay. Naghihiwa means cutting or slicing. Gulay is uh, vegetables. You may replace it with fruits or any other food that you need to cut using a knife. Naghihiwa ako ng gulay. I'm cutting or slicing vegetables. Nagbibake ako ng tinapay. Nagbibake ako ng tinapay. Tinapay means bread. You may replace it with a cake or muffin. Nagbibake ako ng tinapay. I'm baking a bread. Nag-iihaw ako. Nag-iihaw ako. It means I'm grilling something. Next is nagba-barbecue ako. Nagba-barbecue ako. I'm barbecuing. Nag-aalaga ako ng bata. Nag-aalaga ako ng bata, meaning I'm babysitting. Anong ginagawa mo? Nagkukumpuni ako ng blank. Nagkukumpuni means repairing. Nagkukumpuni ako ng blank. You may fill in the blank with uh, any part of your house or an appliance or a broken furniture. You may also say nagre-repair ako ng blank. Nagre-repair ako ng blank. I'm repairing blank. Naghahanda ako ng pagkain. Naghahanda ako ng pagkain. Naghahanda means preparing and pagkain is food. Naghahanda ako ng pagkain. I'm preparing food. But if you are going to serve the food, the right sentence to use or to say is Naghahain ako ng pagkain. Naghahain ako ng pagkain. It means you are serving food. Our last household chore is Nagpapagpag ako ng alikabok. Nagpapagpag ako ng alikabok. Alikabok means dust. Nagpapagpag ako ng alikabok. I'm getting rid of dust. Let's review what you have just learned in this lesson through a short and simple exercise. All you have to do is fill in the blanks with the correct word or words and translate the English phrases to Filipino. Are you ready? Let's begin. Question 1. Anong ginagawa blank? Answer 1. Naglalaba blank Naveen. Can you also give me the English translation of the first set of our question and answer? You may write down your answers on a piece of paper and compare it to the answer key on the next slide. You may also pause the video while answering. Question 2. Anong blank niya? Answer 2. Nagbibake? Blank, blank, muffin. The English translation is also required for this second set of our question and answer. Question 3. Blank, ginagawa mo. Answer 3. Nagtatapon, blank, blank, basura. And of course, the English translation. Let's now take a look at the answers. 
Question 1. Anong ginagawa ni Naveen? Anong ginagawa ni Naveen? Answer 1. Naglalaba si Naveen. Naglalaba si Naveen. And the English translation is, What is Naveen doing? Naveen is doing the laundry. Question 2. Anong ginagawa niya? Anong ginagawa niya? Answer 2. Nagbibake siya ng muffin. Nagbibake siya ng muffin. What is she doing? She is baking a muffin. Question 3. Anong ginagawa mo? Anong ginagawa mo? Answer 3. Nagtatapon ako ng basura. Nagtatapon ako ng basura. What are you doing? I'm throwing out the garbage. I hope you got everything right. Now, I want you to translate the following sentences to Tagalog. 1. I'm cooking rice. I'm cooking rice. What is your answer? Two, I'm doing the dishes. I'm doing the dishes. What is it in Tagalog? Three, I'm preparing food. I'm preparing food. In Tagalog? Four, I'm mopping the floor. I'm mopping the floor. In Filipino? Five, I'm scrubbing the sink. I'm scrubbing the sink. In Tagalog? Let's now check your answers. Number one, I'm cooking rice. In Filipino, it's nagsasaing ako. Nagsasaing ako. Two, I'm doing the dishes. In Tagalog, naghuhugas ako ng plato. Naghuhugas ako ng plato. Three, I'm preparing food. In Tagalog, naghahanda ako ng pagkain. Naghahanda ako ng pagkain. Four, I'm mopping the floor. In Filipino, naglalampaso ako ng sahig. Naglalampaso ako ng sahig. 5. I'm scrubbing the sink. In Tagalog, nagkukuskus ako ng lababo. Nagkukuskus ako ng lababo. That's it for part 3 of our Anong Ginagawa Mo lesson. Make sure to check out part 4 which is about hobbies and sports. That's all for now. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tagalog language lessons. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again very soon. Maraming salamat po!